Tom from Fluval. Today's subject is cloudy water in aquariums and how do you deal with it? Why does it happen? We have solutions for you. We're going to go through some of them. First off, there's a, two really main reasons why you have cloudy water. One is floating silt and debris, typically from gravel or decor. Could be suspended algae in your tank. And then, of course, you've got a biological issue which is called new tank syndrome. In new tank syndrome, it's basically a bacteria that's clouding up the water. Now, dealing with suspended debris, really pretty simple approach. Start off by doing a partial water change, 25 to 50%. You can use for larger tanks a gravel washer, washer such as this one, or something like the Fluval Edge mini gravel washer here. Great for nano and desktop tanks too. Do the 25 to 50% water change. Then what you want to do is get a fine filter media in your filter. Something like uh, Marina Poly wool or one of the specific fine filtration pads that we have for our Fluval filters. When you do that, you want to concurrently treat with something like Fluval Quick Clear. This product basically imparts an ionic charge which will clump particles together and they get trapped in the fine filter media very, very quickly, very efficiently. That takes care of particulate matter, suspended algae, another type of floating matter that you want to filter out of a tank turns your water green. Just takes a couple of spores to get in there and you can have a problem. You can multiply really quickly. You start off the same way, the partial water change, the fine filter media, you treat with quick clear. As soon as that water gets clear, like in the other instance too, you want to change out that pad, throw it away, put in a new pad so that you're exporting the trap material out of your tank right away. Now, suspended algae, a couple of other points you got to look at. Lighting, make sure you have the right photo period. You don't want to have excess lighting. If, if you don't have a timer on your aquarium, get one. Your tank should really be, your lighting system needs to be on a timer to have right regular photo period. Um, nutrients, you may want to make sure you're not overfeeding your fish. You want to make sure that you rinse frozen foods with cold water before giving them to your fish so that you wash away any excess liquids. You want to make sure your tap water is not bringing phosphate or nitrates into the tank. And the way you know that is by testing. We've got phosphate kit, a nitrate kit. These things will tell you if it's coming in via your tap water or if you test your aquarium. If it isn't, you test your aquarium, phosphate and nitrate in there. You've got other issues to address that originated in your tank or how you're taking care of it. So you then would enact, you would take care of those problems and use a product like Total Clear to get rid of organics odors or phosclear obviously to absorb phosphates out of your water regardless of the source. That covers more or less suspended algae <clears throat> and now moving on to new tank syndrome. New tank syndrome is as I mentioned previously a bacteria that clouds the water column. It's going after organics that are in solution so it floats in the water column, column turns your aquarium super milky. How do you get rid of it? You can get rid of it with a product like Fluval BioClear. Fluval BioClear is a product that contains a lot of fast acting enzymes. They go to work right away, strip the water column of, of any organics, and basically the bacteria no longer has a source to nourish itself from. It goes away. It's no longer an issue. Clears up. Then, last but not least, is the inside glass of your tank. Not, it has to be taken seriously and it should be done on a regular basis because even the slightest film growing on that can make your water look a little cloudy or not clear. We have the standard pad on a stick type approach where you can just basically go over the glass and remove anything. Very effective, takes off algae or films very easily. Of course, a, a glass cleaning magnet. This is a model that's very effective at getting into the corners of an aquarium. That too, every week. Take the minute uh, that it takes maximum. Just go over the glass, make sure it stays clean. A standard rectangular model. Go over your aquarium glass every week. It really doesn't take very long at all to do. Once you've done that, you want to go over the outside of the tank so that you obviously clarify the glass nicely, get rid of any water spots or any smears. <clears throat> we have Fluval Lens Cleaner, which is great for aquarium glass too. Comes with a microfiber towel. A few spritzes on that, go over the outside of the tank, dry it off, and you're done. You'll have a really nice, transparent looking, clear aquarium. So that covers cloudy water, some of the reasons why you may have it and how to deal with it. 
If you have any other questions or if you'd like to visit, on, visit us on fluvalaquatics.com, we'd love to have you drop by. Feel free to ask us any questions.